Hi YouTubers, today I'm going to um, introduce uh, some automation um, on my sustainable energy channel. This is uh, particular for South African viewers, but the same principle does apply for other uh, users of Sonoff. So um, in South Africa we have a product called the Giza Wise. Giza Wise is a programmable um, device for setting uh, times and temperatures on a hot water cylinder or a geyser and um, they're fairly inexpensive devices that work well on solar projects because you need to be able to decide when you're going to use solar power to power a hot water cylinder and um, you need to know what temperature is that to make it work as efficiently as possible. I bought a Sonoff uh, device for doing um, automation but I realized that the relay in the Sonoff device is not, um, even though it's rated at um, 15 amps it's not powerful enough to ride to, to drive a, a three kilowatt or four kilowatt um, geyser or hot water cylinder because the element um, on continuous draw will be uh, too much for this device. So rather than trying to fit a um, uh, contactor onto the re onto the um, hot water cylinder itself, which is additional hardware, I decided to use a Sonoff Mini and program the mini so so the challenge i have is that to get access to this particular hot water cylinder is right on the other side of the house and the victron inverter is located in the garage so there's a massive amount of wiring and heavy duty cable to be able to control this thing um, and i decided to use this um, geyser wise device um, and to modify it so that i could turn it on and off remotely um, depending on what the state of charge or whether the mains um, has failed or the, there's low shedding in which case I don't want the geezer to draw all the power from the battery because it's sitting on an essential load and I don't have the ability to put it on non-essential load because it's on a different DB uh, distribution board. Anyway, long story short, Sonoff Mini makes a great uh, affordable way to, to reprogram in South Africa Rands, this is about 350-360 Rand, um, probably uh, $10 and um, you can use this device to control the relay. So inside the Giza Wise device is a, is a hefty two, uh, 25 amp relay. And if you actually take the board out of the device um, and you have a look on the bottom of the board, you'll find the tracks that actually um, control the, the relay itself. So you identify that track, you cut it, and you put a jumper wire across there. I just have a temporary switch so I can switch the, the relay um, on and off remotely, uh, irrespective of what the program settings are. And I found this is a great uh, and an economical way of addressing the problem. So you just literally cut the track, put a uh, jumper wire across there, connect the jumper wire to the output of the switch relay on the Mini, and you should be able to remotely control this device. Um, you can use a secondary device um, and pair them together, set up a, a rule, so that um, the, the one device can control many devices. So if you have other um, heavy current devices that you want to switch on and off um, from the Victron relay itself, um, you can set that up in the uh, application. This is a close up of the main controller board out of the geezer wires. And if you have a look, at this small track along the top it goes to the base of the relay coil the other side of the relay is the heavy current which goes through L1 and L2 um, so identify that track it's the last track that runs across the top and then I've just taken a solder point uh, from two convenient points um, and fitted a switch just to be able to emulate uh, the son off turning it on and off and test that it works Right, so here's the finished product. Um, I actually discovered that the Sonoff Mini uh, does not actually have a dry relay contact, um, neither do most Sonoffs. So I needed to modify the Sonoff and instead of it passing 220 volts through, um, I've just isolated the relay and used it as a dry contact to switch the geyser wires contact on and off. So here is the geyser wires and if I press the override button, You'll hear the relay click, so it's transferring power. And if I go onto the Sonoff, uh, Sonoff app and I switch the Sonoff device off, you'll hear the relay disconnect. So although the geyser wise is displaying that it's actually 
on, um, it's actually bypassed and off, so there's no current flowing through to the geyser. And I'll be able to see that on the Victron energy meter. So that's how I overcame the challenge. So I guess the Sonoff main market is uh, automated switching, in which case you need um, mains on uh, either side or, or uh, 220 volts or 110 on, on either side. But uh, for other projects, um, you can quite easily, by cutting a track um, inside the, the device on the board, isolate the relay from the main supply, giving you a dry contact on the other side. Um, I would advise you to mark it clearly on the device in case uh, anybody um, gets electrocuted. But uh, very handy devices and very cost effective. You can do that on both of these uh, models, I believe. I put a link down in the description to uh, someone that's done a good job of this already. And um, have a look at that and see what you think.